So there is this Ugandan-made vehicle that is making rounds all over the internet. One, it's a three-wheeler, and the two, it does a lot more stuff. In today's video, let's talk about the Bingwa. What's up? Welcome to Tech Select Linus is the name. And uh, like I said earlier, we are talking in this video about the Bingwa. Now, the Bingwa is a three-wheeled vehicle that uh, is also a three-in-one vehicle. So it does uh, carry cargo, uh, it pumps water, it provides electricity, which is a really amazing and innovative uh, work from Ugandans. Let's just dive straight into the video where I get to show, uh, to chat with one of the representatives from Kevaton Motors as they tell us more about the Bingwa and their journey. So I'm by the names of Kung Ramadan, a member of Kevaton Motions Engineering, uh, an institution that has come up with an idea of initially making the engine making it made in Uganda. So the idea was developed in 1998 by a gentleman called Movil Rogers, who is the initiator of the whole idea. Because his, uh, his idea was not only to make, an, uh, to make the vehicle, but first of all, to make the power source, the power train that could drive the vehicle that he wanted to build in his life. So. He started his research in 1998. The engine was made out of wood, okay. and uh, it was run by, it wasn't fuel, it was run by steam. So it was a steam engine. Okay. So there are versions that have, there are versions that have been, that he has been going through. From, uh, we, 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 we call them, there's a language that we use as Kevoton. We call it a, the engine is called a single Artivon. Single meaning it's a single cylinder, and then Artivon is the piston. It's a single piston. And then from single Artivon 1 SV, that's the steam version, from to single Artivon 6, they are all steam engines. But single Artivon 6 is metallic, which is di different from single Artivon 1 to single Artivon 5. So single Artivon 1 to 5 were wood and were, made, uh, were driven by steam. And single Artivon, uh, single Artivon 6 is metallic and also ran by steam. So the, an idea came uh, by, it was 2000, uh, 2012, Makere saw us fight, fighting with the idea of making the engine. So they funded us so that we go to, we change to the diesel version. That then we made the single Artivon 7 which was metallic and diesel. So this is a single Artivon 13 now in this wow. vehicle. It's the 13th engine since Kevoton started. Yes. So from single Artivon 7 to single Artivon 13, which is in the vehicle, they are all metallic and they are all diesel. Yeah, making this vehicle, first of all, it's called the Bingwa. It's a Swahili word meaning champion. So. N giving it the name we based on the struggles that we've passed it through. On reaching at this time, we saw it as we, we had championed. So that's why we named it a Bingwa. Uh, the Bingwa, what's so special about the Bingwa is that uh, it does three works. So we call it a three in one, as you may say. It's a three in one, it being one, it does three works. First of all, it does the mobility part, it uh, carries cargo up to one ton, it carries one ton of cargo. One liter can take you through 25 kilometers, but its maximum speed when it's loaded, it moves at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour. So uh, the, next, the next thing that it does, it does the irrigation. So it's favorite for farmers to use on farms. It does the irrigation. We have, we have a water pump built on it. so. This water pump, when we when it's like you, when you've gone to the farm, it has a suction pipe that you throw into the water. Then it has the delivery pipe down here. So this delivery pipe, you just need to connect your pipe that connects to the the irrigation system of your garden, and then you start the engine and gives delivers the water. 
wherever you want it. There are situations that come along, uh, you need the water at home, and when the kids are at school, they are in boarding. You just need your bingwa, you take it to the water source, you connect the pipe, you take it home to the tank, you fill the tank. So now when it comes to filling tanks, we have done several tests, but we have come up to a conclusion that it can deliver 6,000 liters of water in one hour when the engine has consumed one liter of diesel in an hour. So that's a great achievement to us because we couldn't think that it could do that till when we did it. So uh, the, the third work that it does, we have, uh, as this side we have the water pump, on the other hand, we have a, a power generator. So it has a dynamo inter, inter also integrated on it to, for power generation. And uh, the dynamo is right down here. You can have a view of it here. So it generates power of up to six kilowatts per hour. When, you, when you're generating power, it has the engine. Uh, the engine is the one that runs the dynamo the dynamo built on that on the, on the vehicle. Yeah. So that dynamo sends the power that it generates to this box here. Yeah. It's, it's like our circuit box. So the circuit, from the circuit box, we connected it in a way that you can get your power from right here, the, the socket. All that you need in, in uh, the to at the moment of using the power, you only need an extension, an extension cable. So you just plug in the extension, you put on the switch, you power the house, you use the lights, you use the refrigerators, the all house appliances, electric appliances. So what we, that's why we call it a three-in-one. It does the three works. That's what I emphasize. It does the mobility, carrying one ton. It pumps water up to 6,000 liters in an hour. Then it produces power, electricity. Six kilowatts per hour on 0 0.8 liters of diesel. So, it's a being we are proud of it, we as the manufacturers of it. Uh, right now, the being has not, has not yet been brought to market, but 2024 is our market, is our market year. It's the year that we intend to bring it to market. And when, by the time it reaches market, we, 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 are, we have estimated it at 28M in, initially. It's a 28M. And then in the, in, the, in the long term, when we have dominated on the market and people have liked it, we intend to cut the prices to something like 22 to 24 million. Yeah, such that every Ugandan benefit from it and East Africa. Uh, oh, concerning the materials here, the materials that we use, uh, right from the engine, the best materials we use are our local materials here. The materials that we use to make the molds, we use to do the casting, the machine work, we do it locally here. So when it comes to the vehicle itself and the body, we do we do buy the materials from our local market. The, the steel guys are here. We have got actually we do we do the, the, the steel hours. They have been they have they have been started they have started to we have started utilizing the iron ores. So we purchase our materials that we use on the bingwa from our local market here. For the bingwa right now, for the bingwa, we, it has the driver's seat here. And uh, this side, we, can, we can't put a seat because it's the side that where we have the gear lever and the handbrake, so the space is occupied. But on the other hand, we can have a passenger the other side. Uh, in case you want to reach us, you can log into Kevoton Motions E, a small e, at gmail.com or mobirukevoton at gmail.com. You'll find us. Or you contact us at 0777-858-772. I want to assure all this to Ugandans that Uganda can do whichever and everything as long as we believe in ourselves. Thank you for watching. 
So there you have it. It is amazing to see Ugandans actually come together and put all the knowledge that God has given us into actually creating things that not only just, you know, are not just made for creation's sake, but actually things that do uh, serve a purpose in solving some of the issues that we have. Now imagine having one vehicle that pumps water, so it's a water pump, generates power, so it's a generator, and also is a vehicle. So basically three in one. I actually do admire these guys if given a chance, um, I would like to go and check out their facility. And uh, if anyone from Kevoton is watching this particular video, do reach out. I would love to come and just have a quick tour of you know how everything is made, and also show the people here who are watching, you know, that these things are actually made and crafted here. It's not here say that you know, oh maybe they just bought parts from China and what and just assembled. It would actually be good for me to come and show the people the whole you know process, so that we get to believe. You know, Ugandans we believe by seeing. <laughs> So if anyone from Kevoton is actually watching this, do reach out, techselectug at gmail.com, drop me that uh, email, let's uh, have a chat. In case you are an innovator and uh, you're one of those guys that is trying to develop tech somewhere and you need someone to showcase what you do have, do reach out to me, that is at techselectug at gmail.com. Come, drop me an email, techselectug at gmail.com and I'll definitely come running, shoot that video and let's get the people out there getting to know more about Ugandan tech. Well, enough blabbering for today. Make sure you set a date uh, to catch us on our next video. Hit that not notification bell so that you are in the know as soon as a new video does drop on this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.